Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for being here today. Hope you've got your tea and your coffee. And thanks especially to those who've traveled afar. I know you're probably watching Celebrity Big Brother last night until the early hours. And, uh, but thank you for making the journey here today. You are very welcome to Mossley Mill. And we really are delighted that so many of you are here. All the tables are full for this Embracing Events Masterclass. And today's theme is Delivering Sustainable Events. My name is Donna Trainer, and I will be leading you through what I think is a very impressive lineup of speakers who will shine a light on various strategies and also challenges in delivering sustainable events. So what does that mean for you and your event? Well, sometimes we can get lost in a word like sustainability. Today, we want you to discover through our speakers and also through yourselves how your events individually and also collectively can be environmentally conscious, how you can operate in ways that are good, not only for the environment, but good for your event and your success. So you could be an organizer of a sporting event, a community event, an arts festival, a lifestyle event. We want you to see this as a shared space. So today we're going to share your common problems but also your practical solutions in regard to minimizing the impact of your event on the environment. So it's going to be warts and all, but in particular, you're going to glean information on practical solutions to achieve that aim. As I said, how can you help the environment as well as having a successful event? Well, we hope that you gather that information today and use it as you move ahead with your event that'll help you. I think it's worth though highlighting a couple of milestones that have led us to this gathering today. So in 2022, Northern Ireland followed the rest of the UK and Europe by passing a climate change bill with the target of net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. Now for its part, Tourism NI committed to work with the event industry in Northern Ireland and the respective bodies across the UK and the Republic to minimize the impact of all activities on the environment, both here and abroad. Now with that in mind, this time last year, Tourism NI initiated a learning journey to Scotland. It was an opportunity for a group of local event organizers from public and private sectors here to meet peers in Scotland and to learn about their experiences, their trials and their achievements in sustainable practice. Now, the Scottish government's net zero target was set three years before ours. So as you can imagine, the learnings uh, from that gathering in Scotland were very significant. And it was clear that the sustainability process in Scotland was often arduous and disheartening, especially in the face of the pandemic. But it was also clear that with change, the rewards were huge. There were reductions in waste, increases in efficiency, changes in expectations, and also changes in behavior. And the overwhelming message from the organizations and those who gathered in Scotland was that they couldn't do it alone. They needed a collective approach, and that was the only way forward. They had to share and support each other's efforts and initiatives. And that is why we are all gathered here today, to do just that. So some of those who attended that uh, learning journey to Scotland are with us here today, and we're going to hear from them later. And please take the opportunity to ask them as many questions as you can about um, your experiences, their experiences, and their insights. Today, Tourism NI is delivering the next step in that learning journey by engaging with the wider events sector. And the goal is that by sharing knowledge and experience from home and elsewhere, you together can work to minimize the negative impacts of business, of events, and deliver positive impacts. And we hope that through the course of this morning, you will find information that will really help you in taking your first or maybe furthering your steps on your journey to sustainability. And we wanted to, you to make, take this opportunity 
to connect with each other, to network with people, to discover what everybody else is doing, because with that collaborative approach, you could really influence real change to protect our vibrant culture, community, and also our environment. So let's have a little look at the running order. This is the way things are going to be planned for today. We're going to kick off by hearing from Megan Best, who has been very influential in the direction of travel for arts and culture and events sector in the Republic uh, on their sustainability journey. That will lead us into a presentation from uh, Wendy Smith. She was one of those who was on that learning journey to Scotland. Wendy is from Ards and North Danborough Council and we'll hear about an initiative that Wendy was inspired to undertake last year. And following Wendy, we'll hear from an organisation whose core business is processing the waste that we generate in Northern Ireland, and that's River Ridge. And then we get down to a bit of discussion um, and uh, about the group and individual organisations and, and how how we can in reduce our waste. We'll then take a 15 minute comfort break for you to stretch your legs and uh, refill your cups. And then we'll have our second uh, session, our next panel discussion, which will be operational efficiencies. And we'll hear from a supplier of temporary power solutions and site infrastructure and equipment, that's Sunbelt Rentals. Also one of Northern Ireland's uh, cultural and camping highlights, Stendhal Festival, along with Derry City and Strabane District Council. And Megan Best will also join us for that panel discussion. And we'll get some insights into how working effectively creates success. Now, one of the social hashtags we're actually using today is hashtag leaner greener, which I think pretty much sums up what we're talking about today. So how do you reduce expenditure and impacts on your environment? Um, then we're going to get you to do a little bit of work. Uh, it's not going to happen all up here. It's going to happen down there. So we'll split you up into groups and we will ask you to address some of the co common challenges that you face in the events industry. And finally, we'll hear back from the group sessions on what you've been dis discussing and considering the next steps. And we also hope, as I said, you really take this opportunity to make some new contacts and to network. And then we're going to have a fabulous lunch here at Mossley Mill. And we hope to have that around one o'clock. Try to keep on time because I know you have a busy schedule. So that's, that's the general running order. Um, I'll try and keep it to time, but I really will encourage you throughout when we have the microphones and we're getting questions from the floor to really engage because this is a shared space. It is going to be warts and all, but also practical solutions. And it's about working together as an events industry that I think you will really find very stimulating and worthwhile today. So before we get started, I'd like to introduce Siobhan McGuigan, Head of Events at Tourism NI. Siobhan will give you some insight into its sustainability aspirations. Siobhan. Good morning, everybody. It's great to see so many people in the room today, some of some familiar faces that were at our recent masterclass about delivering commercially sustainable events as well. Um, it's great that you took this time out of your diaries to come along, not just to listen to all the presentations and the speakers that we have, but very much to engage and to share those learnings um, with your peers and with those at the tables alongside you. This event is following on in our Reimagining Events series. We delivered a series of events and webinars last year around a whole range of topics, including delivering volunteer programs. So we touched on sustainability, but commercialization as well. So this really is just to try and continue that engagement with yourselves and provide you with help and support where we possibly can to help develop your event. And for suppliers in the room who we are absolutely delighted to have because it's so important for this topic that, that we hear all sides of this story, it's great as well just to hear firsthand what the challenges are that our events industry faces and help us to come up with solutions. Donna mentioned the sustainability learning journey that we went on last year. It was about 11 different events, um, event organisers that came along. We could have had 50 if we'd had the budget and the space and the time. But we, it's something that we have, would have a great aspiration to try and do again if, if we can ever manage it. 
But what was so useful at that learning journey was all the events that we connected with in Scotland. It was a warts and all experience. They shared everything with us. They didn't stand up and talk to us and say, we're brilliant, we know how to do it, this is really easy. It was very much warts and all. It was very much, these are the challenges that we faced. And actually, I think everyone that was there in the room will probably say, we veered the whole two days between saying, oh, we're so far behind, to this is really exciting. We have got real opportunities ahead of us. And actually, those with whom we met suppose, supported us and reassured us in that sense, because they said, yes, while maybe we have a bit of a further journey to go, actually, we can then benefit from learning from all the mistakes that they made, the challenges that they faced. And they are very, very, um, I suppose, open to continuing that engagement with us, even on the, you know, the oncoming months and years as well. So um, that's something that we would very like, very much like to cover. As Donna said as well, this is about everyone in the room trying to share their learnings and, and share your challenges as well. With having the suppliers in the room, as I said, it's so helpful to be able to hear the challenges from both sides and all those different, look, we have conflict and priorities. We know that at times, even producing sustainable materials and, and assets can be more expensive. So how do we balance that against all the other sustainable objectives that we have to meet and those pressures that, that can vary, that hit our desks on a day-to-day -day basis? There are a range of events and suppliers in the room. So even if the speakers on the stage aren't from your specific type or sector of event, we really very much hope that you will be able to, to garner those learnings and, and have some top tips. And please do engage. There'll be in the coffee break or whenever there are panel discussions, don't be shy at all, because that's what makes it if everybody asks questions and we can have a really good discussion in the room. This event is being recorded, so um, in the coming days and weeks, I won't put pressure on our, on our team as they kill me to, to nail them down to your time, but as soon as we possibly can, the videos of today's event and of the commercial masterclass that we delivered a couple of weeks ago will be available on TNI.com, so feel free um, to share those links with your, with your colleagues as well, where you can really, really maybe help to listen back and to pick up on those tips that we might have missed here. So just finally, thanks again for coming along. I hope you have a really enjoyable day and I'm really looking forward to hearing what we, we share between us in the room. Thank you. Thanks, Siobhan. That word sharing, we're going to hear it all day today, I know, but, but it really is um, at the core of, of today's event. So we're going to use Slido to capture your feedback. It's all part of the sharing. And you'll see on your table in front of you a QR code, uh, and you can log into the details there. So pick up your phones if you could, um, and follow the instructions to log in. Now, we're going to start, and we're going to make a word cloud out of the answers to, to one simple question. And that question is, what does sustainability mean to you? As I said, you can get lost in a word like sustainability. But what's the first thing that comes into your head when I throw out, what does sustainability mean to you? And we're going to put all of those words together, everyone's thought. Look, we've got longevity already, seems to be a dominant one. Gr green, yes, green, challenging, I see challenging there. So whatever comes into your head, put that in to the Slido there and um, it gives you food for thought, what's dominant amongst most people, protect, well-being. It, be, it could mean different things to different people in different, different um, environments. But to do with your event, there's the future, well-being, protect, longevity, green. Uh, quite, quite a lot in connection with that efficiency, efficiency in environment. Some people might, might question efficiency, but as we will discover as we talk through today and, and discuss, efficiency is very much part of sustainability. So that's what does sustainability mean to you? I also now have a second question. And by ticking the box most relevant to you, there are four options for this question, right? So do you have a recognized accreditation for sustainable practices. So as I said, there are four options. Answer A, if you have 
uh, an accreditation, answer B, if you're currently working towards an accreditation, answer C, if you would like one but you're not quite sure yet which one to go for, or D, choose that if you're not yet ready for a recognised accreditation for sustainable practices. And if you already have one or are, you are working towards getting accreditation, fill in the free text box now there and share the award details. So we have, do we have an accreditation? See, I would like to, but not sure which one to go for. Is 48% at the moment? Yes, I have an accreditation. And I'm not yet ready, around 20, 21% moving there. And I'm currently working towards accreditation, 9%. But I would like to, but I am not sure which one to go for, 49%. So uh, an awful lot of people going for that one. Thank you for sharing that information. That sort of um, helps us in our, in our discussions as well and where you're coming from. I mentioned social media earlier and I would really like you to engage with all of your followers. Yes, keep your phones on silent for the discussions and for the Q&As, but please, please engage, tell everybody what we're talking about today because we really want the industry to be thinking about sustainability. So please use the hashtags Leaner Greener and also Event Profs UK. Leaner Greener, it says what it says in the tin, I think. Uh, it does what it says in the tin. Leaner Greener and event, event Profs UK. Please use social media and engage in that discussion as well. So.